<laughs> if I had slept in, uh, I might have been in trouble. It started as a normal Saturday morning for Troy resident Taylor Adams. Then the storm rolled in, sending a tree crashing through the ceiling of his bedroom. It just starts pouring down, wind starts going crazy. The next thing you know, you just start hearing that tree snap. And I'm like, oh no, please don't be what I think it is. Sure enough, I see that wind hitting that tree and I see it. It was weird. It was like kind of like that adrenaline rush just started kicking in. Everything just started, saw it slowly coming down. And I say, I know as soon as it comes down, everything just gusts. Yeah, it was, it was pretty hot there. Adam seems to have gotten the worst of Saturday morning storm damage, although the city did not make it through the morning unscathed. Crews like the one behind me worked throughout the morning and into the afternoon, restoring power and clearing fallen trees following Saturday morning storm. A couple of the biggest things uh, that are going on right now is on George Wallace Drive. We lost a, a, a big tree, hit a power line on George Wallace Drive, closing the road. So we're in the process of getting that back up uh, and go in there working on that right now. We had two trees go down um, on George Wallace that got into lines. And probably the worst damage to happen on the Troy University campus was a large tree at the entrance of Janice Hawkins Park that was split in half. The tree did not hit any power lines or block any roads.